Hi everyone, it's Tremia, and it is day two of all my studies. I guess today I see the infectious disease doctor and also Dr. Burt, my transplant doctor. And hopefully I'll get a little shopping on Michigan Avenue done. I hope that works out well because yesterday I just got so sick. I didn't get to enjoy dinner or anything. Everything just caught up with me. But So today, hopefully it'll go a little bit better. It's the view outside our hotel window. Wish I could show you more of this hotel, but if I go downward, you see more of me in the reflection than you do the hotel. But it's pretty. I'm waiting at the transplant infectious disease. I saw the doctor. They're gonna run tons more blood work and do a chest x-ray. So still don't have any answer. Um, possible viral infection. Just don't know anything yet. But they added more lab and more x-rays. So it takes up more of the time of the day. So trying to hopefully get lunch before we head into Dr. Burt's. Especially after I get all the blood drawn because it's going to be a lot. This is what I'm getting ready to do. There's going to be two cultures and 22 vials. I just did the UA, and I'm happy to say I hit the cup. <laughs> that took a lot of balance because today I'm really wobbly. And there's two cultures up there, too. <sighs> she went to get me some orange juice because we haven't eaten lunch yet. And I do not want to pass out. And then from directly here, we got to go to Dr. Burt's. And so there's got to be lunch in there sometime. I thought I was exhausted before. It's even worse now. Um, just saw Dr. Burt, and you know he did a thorough examination and stuff, and he's never seen anything like this. He said he's done over 1,000 stem cell transplants and hasn't come across this. And he thinks the key is gonna lie with the dermatologist tomorrow. He gave us back our slides and told us to hand them directly to the dermatologist. And this is the head of the department. Not to give it to the nurse or anybody, but to hand it directly to them. And that they'll also do another biopsy on me tomorrow. And I asked if I could do more Benadryl and he wouldn't let me, just the one Benadryl a day, the IV. Um, they asked like if we needed to extend our stay for treatment if we could and we said yes you know that the sooner we get this treated the better they said like if it's a viral and fungal infection it'd be hospital stay with antibiotics and stuff you know to get me better so that's one possibility all the blood they took it was for fungal and viral and bacterial infections, you know, that kind of stuff. We're just now getting some food down us. And then I've got to head and do the chest x-ray, which is going to take a lot of effort because I'm going to have to take off my shirt and my bra and everything. And I am so, so exhausted. But I'm going to get it done and get back to the hotel room and try to get some rest. I thought I was tired before, but I am totally spent. I'm in the great big middle of the hospital having my pity party. Everybody just can stare. I'm allowed to cry. Heading back to the hotel and it's so nice out here. 72 degrees, light breeze. So we stopped at the bakery. Oh, Dwayne's looks good. He got a bunt cake. He got me a whoopie pie. We're gonna and the birds are just walking around eating. We're just gonna enjoy ourselves and enjoy the nice fresh breeze. Well, tomorrow's gonna be even more busy than we thought. Um, I didn't get the chest x-ray taken today because 
the wait was over an hour and I just couldn't sit there and wait for an hour. So we're going to get up and do that first thing and then I go into the dermatology department and they'll do the biopsy and hopefully he'll be able to find some way to give me relief from all the itching and stinging and stuff and he's supposed to page Dr. Burt directly when I get in there so they can discuss my case and work together and I don't know if I said it but you know a lot of my lab results should be in by that time also and then they did go ahead and add in the rheumatology appointment and I also have the pulmonary appointment tomorrow so another busy day plus I've been doing the 24-hour urine collection got to get that turned in tomorrow so I'm exhausted I need rest hopefully it will come easily I wish this itching and burning would stop and plus my uh, port site the cotton and stuff under there got damp somehow and tomorrow's the day it's supposed to be changed anyway so so I gotta get that done also it's gonna be one busy unfun filled day I'm gonna call it a night I'll see you in the next video